Hey guys, welcome back. And today Apple has released yet another beta for iOS 12.4. Today releasing iOS 12.4 beta 6. Now this software is very important for many users including iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and 6 Plus. As you may or may not know, these devices will not get iOS 13 support and iOS 12.4 could very well be one of the last major updates for these devices. And there's a few things I wanted to share with you guys, including a quick update on iOS 13, the re-release that was released yesterday. We'll get to that towards the end of the video, but let's talk about 12.4 and what this software aims to bring. For those of you who follow me here, you already know this aims to bring Apple Card support for the older devices before Apple is moving on to the newer devices with iOS 13 in the fall. But this software will also be released, of course, for every single iPhone as well, but most importantly for the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and the iPhone 5S. It's kind of sad to see these devices uh, stay behind, but we can anticipate iOS 12.4, the official release, be released anytime now, but I'm anticipating maybe next week on the week of the 15th or even the week of the 20th before the end of July. That is when Apple Card will be made available to the masses and Apple is hoping to bring that to these older devices as well as all other iPhones, of course, with 12.4 and then moving on to iOS 13. Now, the release today was uh, 2.3 gigabytes on this iPhone 6 uh, and also on the iPhone 5S. So that means that this is pretty much the gold master copy. This is the final build, if you will. Let's go into settings here. Let's go into uh, general and let's go into about and take a look at the build right here. The letter A towards the end of the build number, we have iOS 12.4 with build number 16G5069. A. So I don't think we'll see any more betas for iOS 12.4. I think this is pretty much the gold master copy. Although we do have the feedback application on the springboard and the longer build number, I still do anticipate that this will be pretty much the final release and Apple will make it official sometime next week or the following at the latest when Apple Card should be ready to be rolled out to the masses, to everyone worldwide. So yes, sad to see the iPhone 6, 6 Plus and the iPhone 5S be left behind, but iOS 12.4 just seems very polished. Everything is buttery smooth. This software is just right there where users want it to be. Everything is great. Now, I quickly wanted to update you guys on iOS 13, the re-release, which was released yesterday, not to be confused with iOS 13 beta 3 released on July the 2nd. This is the re-release that was released yesterday on the 8th. This one has a different build number. I am still working on on the battery test, the performance test in my follow up video, of course, I'm comparing the software. It does take some time, but just be patient, guys. Those videos will be coming your way. This one has a different build number, as I mentioned, 17A5522G, and that is the current build number for the latest re release of iOS 13 Beta 3. Now, there's one major bug or two major bugs that were addressed yesterday with the uh, re release of this software. Apple did say that this contains bug fixes and improvements and it really did. So if we go here to settings, just as an example, let's go here and turn rotation off. Rotation had a massive, massive bug glitch in iOS 12.3, the official release, not on the re-release. Now, boom, everything is working. So everything is working as intended. Every single application, including Safari and other apps, everything is working with the rotation lock. I'm happy to report that. I know a lot of you guys were annoyed by that. I also noted that some other applications that were not compatible or having compatibility issues were actually fixed as well. I'm not quite sure what Apple did with just a simple, I think it's 115 megabyte download. Yeah, 115 megabyte download update, which brought support for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but also those bug fixes. I'm not sure what Apple did to fix that, but also YouTube uh, did uh, fix a few things within YouTube that was crashing. Now, YouTube is an independent application, a third-party application, but uh, it was working on Beta 2. When Beta 3 rolled out, it was glitching out, it was crashing, and the re-release of iOS 13 Beta 3 actually did fix uh, many of the issues. And YouTube, of course, will also be working in the background to make that a better experience overall once iOS 13 is officially released to the public. And just a very, very quick video, guys, the quick update on iOS 12.4 beta 6, as well as iOS 13 beta 3 re-release. Everything is looking good there. This one is pretty much the gold master copy. And again, we can anticipate this software to be released anytime now in the next two weeks of July before the Apple Card is ready to go. So there you guys have it, a quick one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.